Let's see if we can figure out what 4 thirds minus minus 1 fifth is. And if you think you know how to do it, I encourage you to pause the video and give it a go. So when you first look at this, the, the thing that might jump out at you is we have different denominators here. And so it's not obvious how to subtract 1 fifth from 4 thirds when you have these different denominators. And the key is, is to rewrite each of these fractions so that they have the same denominator. And how do we figure out what that same denominator is? Well, it's going to be a common multiple of 3 and 5. And ideally, it's going to be the least common multiple of 3 and 5. So how can we calculate that? Well, we could start with the larger of the two numbers, say 5, and let's go through its multiples and see when we get to one that's divisible perfectly by 3. So 5 is not divisible by 3, 10 is not divisible by 3, 15 is divisible by 3. In fact, 15 is 3 times 5. So I can rewrite both of these fractions as something over 15. So what's 4 thirds if I were to write it as something over 15? Well, to get from 3 to 15 in the denominator, we have to multiply, we have to multiply by 5. So if you multiply the denominator by 5, if you don't want to change the value of the fraction, you have to multiply the numerator by 5 as well. So you have to multiply the numerator by 5 as well. 4 times 5 is going to be 20. So 4 thirds is the same thing as 20 fifteenths. All right. Now how would we rewrite 1 fifth as, as something over 15? So we're going to have 15 in the denominator. Well, to go from 5 to 15, we have to multiply by 3. So if we multiply the denominator by 3, we have to multiply the numerator by 3 as well. So times 3. 1 times 3 is just 3. So 4 thirds minus 1 fifth, we can rewrite that as 20 fifteenths minus 3 fifteenths. And now this becomes a lot more straightforward. What is this going to be? Well, this is going to be a certain number of fifteenths. We have 20 fifteenths, and we're taking away three of those fifteenths. So we are going to have, if you have 20 of something and you take away three of them, you're going to have 17 of those things. In this case, we're talking about fifteenths. So this is going to be 17 fifteenths. And if we wanted to write it as a mixed number, we could say 15 goes into 17 one time with a remainder two. So it's one and two fifteenths. Let's do another example. Let's see if we can figure out, let's see if we can figure out what 7 tenths, 7 tenths minus, minus 5 eighths is. 5 over 8. And I encourage you to pause this video and see if you can calculate it yourself. Well, just like we saw before, we have different denominators, but we, we need to rewrite them so that they have a common denominator. That way we can subtract. And so what's a, common, what's the, a common multiple of 10 and 8? And ideally, the least common multiple. It doesn't have to be, but it keeps things a little bit simpler. Well, let's start with the larger of the two numbers, and then keep, keep finding in their multiples and find one that, that is perfectly divisible by the other one, by 8. So 10 isn't perfectly divisible by 8. 20 isn't. 30 isn't. 40 is. 40 is a multiple of 10, and it's a multiple of 8. In fact, it's the least common multiple of 10 and 8. So we can re rewrite both of these fractions as something over 40. So that's going to be something over 40 minus something over 40. Minus something over 40 is equal to something. So 7 tenths is what over 40? Well, to, get, to go from 10 to 40 in the denominator, we multiplied by 4. So we have to do the same thing in the numerator. Multiply the numerator by 4. 7 times 4 is 28. So 7 tenths is the same thing as 28 fortieths. And now let's do, some, do the same thing with the other fraction. To go from 8 to 40 in the denominator, we had to multiply the denominator by 5. 8 times 5 is 40. So if we multiply the denominator by 5, we have to multiply the numerator by 5 as well. 5 times 5 is 25. So 7 tenths minus 5 eighths is the exact same thing as 28 fortieths minus 25 fortieths. And now this makes a lot of sense. It's going to be a certain number of fortieths. If I have 28 fortieths and I take away 25 of those fortieths, how many fortieths am I going to have left? Well, I'm going to have three fortieths left. 28 fortieths minus 25 fortieths. So I'm going to have three fortieths. 28 minus 25 is three. And we are done. 7 tenths minus 5 eighths is three fortieths.